We're uh, continuing here. Thanks for the raid, dude. How's it going? What were you streaming? Uh, I will go ahead and make a heart lantern, I think. I got so many hearts, so I'm fine with sacrificing one. Okay, can I can I buy a pylon right now? Not from you, maybe from you. It's it's very crowded here. Mm, not not yet. I feel like maybe I should. Doing this big slard, nice. I do like your pack, your pixel art. I, I need to get the forest pylon. I kind of regret not getting it like as soon as I was able to, but I. The problem is, by the time your house town get, gets crowded, that's when you're not gonna be able to get it. Then you're not gonna have, like, that's when you have money. I mean, it's kind of awkward. I'm just getting some pylons set up right now. Uh, Okay, that's that's actually way better. There's some armored lucky horseshoe there. Don't care about that. Shoe spikes. I mean, that's not gonna be useful until like fucking Moonlord. So. So yeah, I need to move some NPCs out of the starter place. Alternatively, just kill them. I'm gonna need gravestones later anyway. So I'm probably just gonna kill them. I forget which combo I need for the forest pylon. I could check my file for that. Don't be any brass, please. Get out of here, bats. I'm getting owned. I'm just trying to get to my hut over here. Thank you very much. Okay. I could also just build like a quick extension to this house. And then move like an NPC over. Hold on, let, let me check my file. Just, um... Pylons, what do I want here? Um, doesn't say. It doesn't say for my uh, forest one. Ah, I, I knew I should have gotten a bucket of lava earlier. I'll change this to a water chest. This is this is awkward. Like I thought. Crap. No, I need a bucket. Ah. <laughs> mm, can't stay focused there. Okay, bucket. Where's my summon? Wait, I used my summon. That makes sense. I could use the other summon. Doesn't feel too too necessary right now. I'm just gonna get go down and get a bucket of lava real quick. There shouldn't be any traps in the way. Okay, we need to go pretty far here. Slime. Anyway, welcome, welcome Raiders. We're doing some uh, try hardcore. Kind of getting uh, ready for Calamity 1.4. 
that should be com coming out relatively soon. Oh, I went down here, okay. Right, torches. That's what I'm supposed to get. Always something you forget in this game. <laughs> I made so many blockades. Also, god damn, it's far. This is also not the right way, but that's fine, I guess. A little, a little bit. I am allowed to use the shield dash, but not to use damage. Not as a damage source. Right, don't have any torches. Okay, bucket of lava. Great. Torches. I think I probably want to get rid of the demolitionist. Give me a chair. So yep. We do need these gravestones later. I, I can't remember how many I need. Like seven. You still don't sell a pylon. I think everyone hates the angler or something. Right, ghosts. Fuck. I forgot. Spawns ghosts. How rude. Um, like, most NPCs hate the angler, so I believe, anyway. There we go, first pylon, finally. Alright, the, the NPCs can back, come back now. Like I just murdered two NPCs and the other NPCs were happy enough to sell me with the pylon now. As you do. I, I knew I needed a, a bucket of lava earlier, but I couldn't remember why I needed it. So I just never got one. Just collecting some stars, killing some eyeballs as well. Dang, no lenses. I wish the Eye of Cthulhu would drop lenses. Wouldn't that be nice? Alright, uh, what am I gonna sell? This thing... Is that it? I guess that's it. Alright, we got some fast travel set up now. Very nice. Uh, the light, light ore is actually going in the alchemy. Usually I like playing faster than this. But, man. It's hard to not get just, like, mind flooded, sort of, in this game. That's a very common thing that happens to me. Alright, what, what do we do next? Probably... Brain Man, right? Brain face, no space. I uh, want lots of Jester's arrows for that. Probably doing final arrows, I think. <laughs> no one was selling pylons and I just started murdering <laughs> Sell me pylons, damn it. Right, uh, planter boxes. I forgot about these. How many do I want? I can't remember how many I buy. I think like 300. I, def I definitely recommend setting up pylons like this, by the way. 
Does it actually matter what you put in the planter boxes? It does not. Uh, well, it sort of does. I think when you auto place seeds using the smart cursor, it'll go to the planter box it's meant to go to. Other than that, it does not matter. And it's easier to keep that way, it organized that way as well. If you use the appropriate ones. I think I normally place 25 per row. Many people actually use planter boxes instead of platforms for arenas. I can't exactly remember why. It's like monsters can't stand on them or something. It's pretty common to see people using planter boxes for arenas. You can't place torches on them though. Yeah, and you yeah you can buy them as well instead of having to cut wood. And also, I, I was wondering why the zoologist was looking way there. <laughs> She was in the, uh, like, werewolf form or whatever. Due to, like, full moon or something. Sorry for the uh, boring stuff for here. We're we'll gonna get to some interesting content here in a sec. I haven't played Troy in a while, so I'm kind of like, what do I do again? <laughs> yeah, this is pretty much perfect, actually. 300 and then 25 per row. Actually, it works out exactly enough. Would, would you look at that? It's almost like I planned that before. <laughs> and then forgot what my plan was for like future runs. I'll put shoe specs in the miscellaneous thing here. I, I will put a sunflower here as well. Sunflower. Mushrooms are good. It's really important that I harvest mushrooms as, or as, as often as possible, because mushrooms genuinely become a problem in the late game. Um, wh wh what am I doing right now? I I'm gonna have to do something about this crimson once it gets to hard mode as well. That is likely to be overtaken by Hallow, actually. Crimson should spawn on the left, and Hallow should spawn on the right. I think. Although, sometimes I'm not too entirely sure how the spawning works. Okay, Demolitionist is back. Sorry about that, buddy. Try the Merchant as well. Where is he? Over here. What you got? Stopwatch. Do I care about that? I do care about life form analyzer. Got some dynasty wood as well. Am I gonna get the stopwatch? Do I need gold for anything right now? The likelihood of me getting a cell phone is essentially zero. So I think I will actually pass on that. Okay, uh, we're going brain time. I will use a hunter potion. I will use an archery potion as well. I will use night owl. That's probably good enough. And I'll store them like this. Great. Sorry, I haven't read, you, read your comment yet, Torn. <laughs> Should I do so? You know, but with the base torches. If you need a torture buff, just don't place plenty of boxes. Place a wooden platform, I just said. Yeah. Whoops. 
Okay. They just um I switched arrows kinda of too early there. Let's have a food buff. It's so tempting to use my dash ability, but I'm not allowed to. <laughs> like, using the, the dash there to knock back the face monster would have been really useful. I never fought the King Slime either. We can wait with that, that's fine. So this boss is, like, annoying. It doesn't matter that this hole is in the platform. If anything, it's a good thing, because I'm saving wood. I thought that said Clothier for some reason. I was like, what? <laughs> but no, it says Angler. I'm, I'm not sure how I read that as Clothier. These spiders. They're annoying. Now I want to get rid of some obstacles on the wall. Just so I don't get stuck on it. While I'm fighting the boss. Also, remind me to pick up the hard lantern once I'm done here. Because I pretty much always forget to do, to, do, to do so. Place it there. I want to make this into like a flat surface just so I don't get stuck. Hello, spider! What the fuck was that? Did someone see that? That spider was just going towards me at light speed. What the fuck was that? I've never seen that before. These platforms are... a little bit far apart. It wouldn't be a bad idea to get a balloon first. Okay. Um, I think I will wait with doing this. It's daytime anyway, so... I'm gonna go and try and get a balloon. And we and we do have a lucky or so don't need to worry about fall damage here. Yeah, that spider was just zooming. Hoping there is a balloon on this world. Wings? That's fine. I believe these wings do stop fall damage, right? I guess I should test it. I'm, I'm always a little unsure about these wings. And by always, I mean, like, not that often, because these are still pretty new to me. There's a balloon. Right, I do want one of these chests. I guess I'll keep using up this uh, gravitation portion. Might as well. Was that something up there? Oh, 
Another pair of li wings. Menacing or lucky? I, n I never know. I'm thinking probably balloon over the Hermes boots for the brains fight. Or maybe the horseshoe, actually. The horseshoe has def defense on it, though. I should probably check, like, here a little bit. I don't think uh, floating islands can spawn at the ocean anymore. Or something like that. Um, I'm thinking probably balloon over. Okay, hmm. I'll, look. I'll, I'll sell this guy mill. I'm never, never gonna use that. I'll sell the lucky ones, sure. I probably don't need rope anymore. Okay, looking to actually do the thing now. Just making sure I haven't forgotten anything. I think it's fine. Now, th this boss is a little fucked, is the thing. You can get some, like, pretty bad RNG, and it's just, like, very, it becomes very problematic. Don't love this. Here. I'm just gonna get rid of that little hook in the ceiling. Hello, I didn't see you there. How am I doing our arrows? Looks fine. I actually don't like this thing. Gonna get rid of that. Kind of bit don't like this hook either. Still a block here. Don't want to get trolled by that block. Let's get like a platform here. Don't get stuck there. Should be fine. Hopefully I don't get really bad RNG and have to leave here. Uh, equip your Jester's arrows. And then equip your balloon over the Hermes boots. This fight is kind of bullshit. I never really understood this fight. I'm j I just kind of do it, and then it's a mess most of the time. Loving the enemy spawns. At this point in the fight, it's kind of good to stall a bit to heal up. I'm borrowed to fill the HP, HP though, so no need. Switch to Frostburn. Didn't mean to pick up those hearts. Fucking spider.
spider, dude. Really need to take care of this spider. It's a lot easier when you have like a mini shark and you can keep him like the knockback. Actually a titan potion would be nice here. Isn't that melee only though? Okay, now I can't tell which one is which. There we go. I guess you can tell using the frost burn effect. Alright, that one's fine. Okay, at this point we really, really need uh, Tinkerman. Also, the brain confusion is amazing. I'm in lantern. Thank you. I t still teleported, but I'll, I'll go back for it. <laughs> I appreciate it though. <sighs> Having like one heart lantern is actually kind of like pretty damn good. I think I will plop it down in my base just for the goblin army. I, I really need to prepare for the goblin army. Because it can actually be pretty scary. Should probably just make arrows, but they're, they're cheap enough. Okay, it's... Uh, right, and also... I can never <laughs> keep track of what I'm doing at any point. It's this game. There we go, watch. It's a menacing watch, great. Finally got the watch. That's actually very, very helpful. I'd, I'd really recommend getting a watch in this game as, like, as, as early as possible, pretty much. It's just super useful to, to be able to tell the time. Alright, full crimson armor. Crimson pickaxe. Big upgrades. I guess I could... Excuse me. I guess I could get the... Uh, Magni Luminescence as well. I'll get the uh, flesh catcher. <laughs> I couldn't remember what, what it's called there. And I'll get the axe as well. Alright, massive upgrades. I'll go to the desert and sell my stuff. Oh, hello. Nice lens. That's not just for the twins, it's also for uh, the dude. Let me check if these reduce fall damage. They do, okay. <laughs> I thought so, but I was like... 5% of me was like, maybe it doesn't though. Do I care about the Crimson Heart? It's kind of like shit. And annoying. Get out of here. Materials. Alright. 
All right, we, we really need the uh, goblin man at this point. Oh, there's a meteor in the background. That means it's gonna spawn a meteor, right? Right? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's a little effect they added. It's kind of hard to notice sometimes. It actually v visibly does the meter in the background now. I'm gonna run around getting starts for the goblin dudes. Maybe I should explore the left side. I'll probably have time to explore both sides, actually. I, sh I should have gotten a magnum missus for this. I don't really have uh, any accessory slots, though. It's kind of annoying holding down shift all the time. For the torches. Mushrooms. After this, um, oh, here, here we go. Here's some shiver thorn. It's actually grown or blooming rather. Right, I need to plant seeds in the in the base as well. There's some more shiver thorn. Here's some more. Uh, how am I doing on glow sticks? Fine right now. Should probably get some more though. Come on, bro. Stars might be a bit overkill, but I mean the Goblin Army takes a long time. We're almost ready for for Skeletron, by the way. In fact, I could probably fight him like next night. I'd really like to have a uh, rocket boost though. Whoops. I don't know if that was visible in the stream, but I just brought up a uh, steam overlay thing. <laughs> Hello. There we go. No rocket boots for Skeletron? I guess it's fine. I could try it. Uh, okay, if if it doesn't spawn a goblin army, then I think I will start to start to prepare for Skeletron. Can I get like a? I should have set up the uh, pylon, ocean pylon there. Mm, while I was at that side, that was I didn't think about that. That was a big mistake not doing that. That's kind of a big time waster not doing that. Because I don't have any other good uh, pylons on the right side there. And the skeleton got stuck in Eden. Ha! <laughs> yeah, you, you want to keep your recalls on the hot bar. Make sure they're recall potions as well, not the magic mirror. Lesson is, don't get stuck, true. Okay, it's n there's no goblin army. It is daytime now. K, 
Okay, let's craft a bunch of Jester Zeros. Um, probably just craft like a bunch of these into torches. more torches. That's probably too many. That's fine. You can never have too many torches. Do I just craft all these into arrows? It's a bit overkill right now. Yeah, this is a bit overkill right now. I already said that. <laughs> Right, uh, seeds. Green fairy, you can sell that, right? Wanna buy a fairy? Whatever. Water leaf, blink root, fire blossom. Fire blossom is kind of useless. Plant some anyway. Uh, Day bloom, by far the most useful. I think I usually do like three rows of Daybloom. One greens to me. And then like four or five of Blink Roots. Fire Blossom is usually at the top. And like Water Leaf. And I think Moon Glow there. Shiver Thorn. And then Blink Roots, Blink Roots, Blink Roots, Blink Roots, Blink Roots. Do I want two rows of Moon Glow? Probably. Well, we'll do it this way. Alright, well, let's prep for Skeletron. Really wish I set up that or Ocean Pylon. That would have been very useful because it was nighttime. Setting up pylons is a lot. Or, like, you kind of need to wait for night time. Because NPCs will teleport over during nights. I, I, I like having the ocean pile on the same side as the dungeon. Cheater. <laughs> Man, having the crimson be this close is actually really annoying. Okay, that one grew instantly again. How do I know wood? I uh, probably want a little bit more. Flying lobster in my house. Right, I wanted to get the die trader as well, so let's get the marigold. I accidentally ruined this slope here. Just makes running a little bit awkward. Okay. 
Um, man, really wish I did the thing. Oh, well. Is there any other pylon I can set up here? Snow pylon, but I don't have the tavern dude yet. The, the tavern guy spawns after you kill the brain, right? Or is it Skeletron? I think it's after the brain. Okay, potions. What do I want? Iron skin regen. Uh, swiftness for sure. Archery. Probably got a builder potion as well. While I'm building this. Sure, I'll get I'll get a builder potion. I think a night owl. Sure, this will do. I, I want to keep the mangled on me. Hopefully the die, the die trader will spawn. Time to run. Ho hopefully you can spot the uh, tavern guy. Again, I think he spawns after the rain. I think I can manage a skeleton kill with my current gear. I think that'll be totally fine, actually. Diver dude, where are you? He can spawn anywhere. I might have the spawn conditions completely wrong. I thought it was off to the brain though. Advance fast. Kinda. Wait, I, I haven't fought King Slime yet. I totally forgot about that. I, I even made the summon for it. We're pre preparing for Skeletron right now. Also waiting for Goblin Army at the same time. Die treasures here, so we can probably just get rid of the Marigold now. Alright. Build a potion. I like having my Skeletron Ravina kind of, like, absurdly big. This is a little annoying. Uh, what am I going to do here? Bombs. Oops. I don't really like it when my dungeon is, like, far down. It does make it less likely for harpies to spawn, though. So I'm actually not sure, like, is it a bad thing or a good thing that the dungeon is far down? I don't know. It's kind of like... Ah, oh, jeez. It's, it's annoying, but it also saves you some annoyance, because there's not going to be any harpies. This is going to be weird. What am I doing here? I think maybe just do this instead. One of these days I'll probably start making smaller scale Charminus. This is wide enough. 
We all ask ourselves that question. <laughs> if it's wide enough, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That might be a sword trying down there. If I saw that right. I think I want this, this to be like a little taller. Man, I can't remember the exact size, the exact height, I mean, of each layer. This might be pretty weird without Runky Boots. I don't even have time to build this. I think I made the builder potion at least. worried about time here. In fact, I'm uh, very worried. I'm not going to have the time to place torches. Doesn't help that I do that. Should probably kill the Goblin Scouts. Am I going to risk this? What about time? Because you... Pretty much need the entire night to fight Skeleton, in my experience anyway. At least on Master Mode. I didn't get any DPS potions besides Archery. Uh, d d I give myself about a, I don't know, 50% success rate, maybe less here. Lava modes for Goblin Army? No. I normally, like, never do that, even on, like, normal runs. In fact, I don't know if I've ever done that, a lot of modes. Okay, we got 50 seconds. I'd like to do one more layer. I, I'm not gonna have time to place torches, which is... Also, I'm thinking these layers might be too far apart. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't give myself a very great success rate here. A little bit concerning. I mean, I'm... There's almost no way I die because I can teleport. I mean, there, there, there is a way I can die, <laughs> of course. I don't remember the last time I did this without... Um, 
any rocket boots though. Worried about enemy spawns. No rocket boots for this. This is gonna be interesting. I'm worried about my DPS. Like, if I'm even gonna have enough DPS. It's hard, hard to aim with the bows. A lot easier to do th this with guns. Oops, I've screwed this up. I'm so not used to this without rocket boots, holy crap. My aim is awful. It's just awful. My aim, what the hell? I don't think I'm gonna have DPS here. <laughs> Already two minutes through the night. Seven minutes to go. I prefer having torches down as well. Thank you, Brain of Confusion. That item is OP now. Oops. Did the hand despawn? No, okay. Sometimes he flings his hand so far that it just despawns. I think there's there's probably a way to like force it to happen. Might be some speedrun strats. I mean, his pattern is the same all the time. So if you just learn the pattern and know like how to abuse it, then you can trigger that consistently. So weird without Haraki boots, holy crap. Did, did the speedrun already? I tried to, but I died on the final boss. <laughs> on this challenge, I mean. The boss only run. Hey, I'm Maxim, by the Fighting Mr. Skeletron right now. Yeah, we're, we're getting somewhere. As long as I don't screw this up, we should be able to get this in time. For... Dawn. Is it dawn or is it dusk? No, dusk is when it goes to night, right? And dawn is when it turns to day. I don't know, words. Uh, dawn is at 4.30 a.m. by the way. You can also look at the moon because it's up right now. It's about halfway through. I'm fucking terrible when it comes to aiming, but okay. I 
Au. No need to push him just yet. We got three minutes to kill him. Oh, that arrow almost hit. Oh. Very bad movement there. Oh, that was very dangerous. Had a potion ready though. Two and a half minutes left. Clear. That is like... I don't remember the last time I fought this boss without Rocky Boots. So it's actually pretty confidence boosting that I'm actually able to do that. Okay, let me see if I can very quickly set up the pylon. Before it turns day. I got two minutes. There's no fucking way I have time for this. Ah, <laughs> uh, please. It would be so nice to set this up right now. Ah. Uh, build as fast as you fucking can. Build. Yeah, it's a mess. Who cares? I need to build fast. Yeah, it's a fucking mess. Deal with it. <laughs> Speed on building. Don't have much time left. Okay. Uh, nurse. Uh, arm stealer. Run off screen. Okay, we got 25 seconds left. Got it. Ocean pilot. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Okay, well th that was fun. Although I kind of want to set up Titrator and our fucking arm stealer. Stop talking to me. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, whatever. Couldn't Couldn't quite get it done in time, but at least we got the pylon set up. That's the important part. Ideally, move the NPCs over here as well. And since it turned daytime, they're not gonna teleport again. Or anymore. Kind of like an annoying quirk about NPCs trying to move them. They only teleport when it's nighttime. So the, these guys will just stay there. But it we at least got the ocean pylon set up. Again, though, no goblin army. Not getting evasions at bad times. <laughs> Last hardcore run, I got like two pirate invasions, like right at the start of hard mode, which was very scary.
Good thing he spends a lot of time chasing you. He's an easy target to hit. Yeah. All right, we can actually go in the dungeon now. Um, this is pretty annoying because I've been I've been waiting for a Goblin Army for some time now. But it not, it don't be spawning though. <laughs> that was kind of fun speed building there. <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I think I might just wait for these guys to spawn. Goblin scouts. Well, I was building a house more intense than scout. <laughs> One, come on. Right, I can open this bag. Unfortunately, like, while this item is great, it's not a bow, so... Unlucky. Clothe ear. Right, I want to rescue the mechanic. For some reason, I wanted to call her Kayla. Maybe I got her name as Kayla, like, last time or something. So, let's try and get the mechanic. I don't really want to... Explore the dungeon right now. Wow, that, well that's lucky. <laughs> Alright, done with the dungeon explosion, guys. I'm just kidding. Do I want to equip that now? I don't really have space for it right now. There's a star statue. I do, I do want this water candle. That's actually the reason why I went down here in the first place. But then I remembered I also want the mechanic. Mechanic. Excuse me, bone man. Fuck you. Ah. Don't run, don't underestimate this place. This place is dangerous. Got a pink dungeon, by the way. Very fancy. <laughs> Star statue is interesting to place, yeah. Normally I would grab that statue, but mana is not much easier, so. It is true that I tried to do this challenge before, the bones only thing, but I did die on the last boss, the Moon Lord, which was pretty <laughs> cringe, I guess, <laughs> considering I'm supposed to be good at that boss, but I fucked up one thing and it snowballed, and I didn't know how to save it. Oh, bound mechanic somewhere? Oh, she's on the right. Ah, oh, man. She's gonna despawn. I, I can't let the skull hit me. Those cursed skulls are like the most dangerous enemy in this entire place. They don't hit that much, but they have a debuff that... Let's just say you don't want it. Bound mechanic somewhere? I could use a hunter potion. She's on the right. I just hard to take damage. Hopefully she doesn't die. Any traps? Any traps? Any traps? No. Okay. Got it. Do I have a key? No. Okay. Anything else I want to do here? Right. I want to go back up. Because I want to fight goblins. Not gonna do any dungeon dungeon exploration dungeon exploration right now. I, I went down to grab a water candle to farm goblins. Then I remembered 
Right, need the mechanic as well, so might as well do that now. I don't know if I really need much from the dungeon. I guess I guess, I guess a shout key. It'd be nice to get the what is that bow called? Flame wing bow? Flare wing? The bat's bow. The bow that shoots bats. Because I tried it last time and I liked it a lot against Wolfetch. It's windy. Which means, uh, one thing. <laughs> Fly- or actually means two things. Flying slimes and also dandelions. I'll probably be fine against dandelions with my current gear. Oh, unconscious man. Where? There. Sweet. Great. Okay. We can set up the uh, snow pylon as well. It's Demolitionist plus um, Tavern Keep, I believe. What I'm setting up right now is Pylons. Uh, it's kind of... Where do I even start explaining this? So NPCs have like a happiness system in the game. And if they're happy enough, or the happier they are, the more price reduction you get. And also the more they will buy your items for. And also vice versa, so if they're unhappy, then uh, their stuff will be more expensive and they'll buy your stuff for less. If you make them happy enough, they will actually sell pylons in their corresponding biome. So if I make the NPCs, NPCs happy enough in the snow biome, they will sell a snow pylon. Which essentially functions as a uh, travel network so any active pylon that i have set up i can teleport i can use that to teleport to any other pylon in the world it has to be an active one though and the way you make it active is by having at least two npcs nearby and there are some rules about what in which npcs other npcs like Pretty interesting, and if you set it up, you can get pylons in pretty much every biome in your entire world. And it's super nice for fast travel. I much prefer it over the minecarts that we did before. Where you would just set up a minecart rail across the entire world, which was fine. But it, it kind of took ages, you needed a shit ton of iron. And even when you got it set up, you still haven't had to travel across the minecart. Whereas with pylons, it's instant. So... To get the snow pylon, you want tavern keep plus... I mean, there's many ways of doing it. But I, I do tavern keep plus demolitionist. And then once it becomes day nighttime, they will teleport over here, and then I can run over here, and they will sell me a snow pylon, and then I can teleport to it. As you can see, I already have a forest one here, desert, and a jungle one there. Super nice. It's not as complicated complex as it sounds, I guess. I don't even know if it sounds complex. Wait, I did get a shadow key. Do I have everything I want from the dungeon already? Hold up. Is there anything else I want from the dungeon that I'm forgetting? Isn't it just Cobalt Shield and Shadow Key? I think that's it. <laughs> we explored this much dungeon and we already done. Yeah, being able to teleport it, like everywhere. Oh, hello, tiny dandelion. I'm kind of curious to get hit by this just to see how much I would hit. Whoops, I just, uh... Ah, I... Oh, hello. That's another dandelion. It only hit me for a 19. 
And for the worthy, they will one-shot you at the start of the game, though. Alright, we're killing goblins. Because that's the only way to get this goblin army going, apparently. Yeah, it's, it's a bit messy to figure out by yourself. But I just wrote it down in, like, a notepad document. But if you're ever struggling, you, you can put the armor stealer plus the nurse in any biome and it will be fine. They will always be happy enough to sell you the pylon. And then you can set the NPCs at the pylon don't have to be happy in order for the, for the pylon to work. Pylon, pylon. Am I, am I really just gonna sit here and wait for these guys? I mean, what else am I going to do? So I, I guess I will? Time to fish? I, I guess so. I can, I can fish while doing this. Not a bad idea. Um, I don't really want to do it at the ocean though because there's NPCs there, so I guess I'll just fish here. This pond is kind of shit though. I'm still in the range of the water candle. I think I got the life farm analyzer from the dude. Makes it a little, easy, a little easier to spot these guys. I believe you need 10 of these. I would love to fish, fish the ocean, but there's NPCs there, so that's gonna sp slow down spawn rate. And also, mostly just fish spawn ocean enemies. Balloon pufferfish. Should probably kill the slimes just so like get more spawns going. And but by the way, there's no reason to hold on to crates anymore. For hard mode. You get different crates in hard mode now. Yeah, I kind of thinking this pool is not great. I mean... The lens is good. blocks. I don't really feel like fishing right now, but I need to wait for Goblin Scouts, so like... What am I supposed to do, dude? Because the Goblin Army does not want to spawn by itself. I don't, I don't even know if like... Goblin scouts are like very common to spawn during night time. Or if they only spawn during night or day, I mean. I'm keeping an eye on my red creatures tracker. I wanna buy the Wait, I don't need to need to buy anything. I already got the pylon set up, didn't I? Yeah. 
And th this one should work fine now. I can even get a quest. Surface, okay. I guess I can run and get the snow pile and set up. It'd be pretty funny if it just spawns a goblin army. As it turns day here. I mean, it's not that unlikely to do so. So I should probably just, like, fast forward it to daytime. Because I don't even remember if scouts can spawn during night. I think they can. Just gonna run to the snow pile and get that set up and then fast forward time. Excuse me. Excuse me. Still need to kill Demonize. The more lenses, the better. I think the Demolitions should sell it. Snow Pilot. 